All right, guys. It is a gray, gloomy, foggy day here in the end times. Here in the great state of Texas. <clears throat> yeah, on this lovely Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. So, uh, I have just finished my second uh, attempt at writing for medium.com. So this is actually the first Doomer piece I've put in. So uh, anyway, for anyone who wants to listen to the little robot, this is a four minute read of the little robot reading. I am already a Doomer, so I can allow myself to be distracted. You're welcome to sit here and let the little robot read it for you in the next four minutes. Or of course, uh, if you have any interest, I will put the link over to my new medium.com piece, and you can go read it yourself. And when you're over there at medium.com, enjoy all the Doomer porn. So here is my first four. I guess this is, well, you tell me, is this Doomer porn or not? Take it away, little robot. I am already a Doomer, so I can allow myself to be distracted. Hi guys. Well, there you go. I did a great job on there. I can see how excited the robot was about reading this. Uh, well, let's see. Hi guys. He's saying bye guys. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's probably the most two, the two most important words in the piece are the last two words. Bye, guys. Let's see <laughs> if we can actually get the little robot to read it from the beginning. Take it away, robot. I'm already a doomer, so I can allow myself to be distracted. Hi guys, I've been meaning to jot down this posting for a couple of weeks, but I guess I've been too distracted. Now that I have a few minutes to kill before my next distraction, this is as good a time as any to talk about distraction, and how the term is starting to become a distraction in and of itself. As some of you are aware, I did a recent out of the box video on my YouTube channel, Collapse Chronicles, about UFOs titled, We Need to Understand What Is In Our Skies, period, Navy Pilot Ryan Graves. If you are interested, here is the link, U2.B. Not surprisingly, I guess because the video was not directly concerning the imminent collapse of civilization and the planet being caused by humans, I got several expected knee-jerk reactions from several of my viewers tossing out the video as a distraction. Then, just last night, I found a YouTube video about my hero, Edward Snowden, calling any story about UFOs a distraction. I have been guilty of this tried distraction commentary myself. Just last night, I left a comment on a fellow Doomer's YouTube video saying, correctly, that the Kyle Rittenhouse story is a distraction, which is why I have never read one word of it. Honest amplification and clarification. The reason I have never paid one iota of attention to that story is because I don't give a flying fuck about it one way or another, whether or not it is a distraction. After leaving that comment, I went over to Netflix, where I promptly wasted two hours of my life watching some trashy tabloid documentary about Alex Murdaugh, which had about as much to do with the imminent collapse of civilization and the planet as the Kyle Rittenhouse story does. So, I guess my question to Edward Snowden, my fellow Doomers not wanting to hear about UFOs, and to myself for not wanting to hear about Kyle Rittenhouse, is this, a distraction from what, and a distraction for whom? Obviously, the answer to both of those questions depends on what rabbit hole you reside in. If you, like me, are a Doomer and reside in the echo chamber of the Doomosphere, the answer to the first part of the question is, any story not directly related to the imminent collapse of civilization and the planet, the single biggest story in the history of humanity, is a distraction, and is not worthy of one second of your valuable attention, as every ounce of your attention should be glued to the fact that we are so fucked, and gathering ever more proof of this fact that you have probably known for years. If you are not adding one more way to say, we are so fucked, at the end of the day, obviously you are not doing your Doomer homework, but it is the second part of the question, distraction for whom, that is more germane to this ramble, since 99% of the population is completely unaware, or just plain unconcerned, that we are so fucked, Obviously it is those folks who need to be fed a steady stream of Doomer porn 24 hours per day, 365 days per year, 
with zero distraction from the we are so fuck script, until they, too, get it through their thick skulls that we are, indeed, completely fucked, so they can join the few, the proud, the doomers, until that glorious day when 8 billion clueless fucking morons are no longer clueless morons, we are failing in our doomer calling to drive the planet to collective suicide, thereby saving the planet, but what about us doomers ourselves, since we already know how fucked we are, how much of our puny little worthless lives need to be spent beating the dead planet dead horse, you may be aware that, a few months before the godfather of doom, Michael Rupert, blew his brains out, he had basically gotten to the point of saying, and I paraphrase, but not by much, that, if you are not spending 100% of your time talking about how and why we are so fucked, that he had nothing else to talk to you about and no time for you. I think he said that in December, and was dead by April. I think Michael might still be alive today if he had just cut himself and other doomers some slack, and given himself permission to go watch a sleazy Netflix documentary or comedy every now and then, and take a damn day off from the doom and gloom. If you are a doomer at anything like me, and why would you be here in this echo chamber if you weren't? You already know, on a cellular level, that we are completely, totally intractably fucked. Humans are the reason we are so fucked, and as long as one human continues to walk the planet, the planet will continue to be fucked. There is not a damn thing that you or any other human on the planet can do to change this fact, and you, I, or we, wouldn't do what we need to do, even if there were anything we could do. Since you and I and we all know this, I think it is past time to give ourselves a doomer pass. If you want to waste your time and attention on UFOs, Kyle Rittenhouse, or Alex Murdaugh, go ahead and knock yourself out. You've got enough to feel guilty about without having to feel guilty about distracting yourself from the growing mountain of data that proves what a guilty planet-eating criminal you are and will always be. Take a deep breath, and go binge on Netflix until the screen door hits you on your own guilty ass on your way out. Okay, now that I have gotten that off my chest and done my doomer duty of the day, I'm going to go distract myself with a palm oil muffin to celebrate. Bye guys. All right, the little robot, he's doing, he's doing pretty good. Once you can figure out how to get him to start talking. Okay, I have a palm oil muffin with my uh, name on it. I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy your palm oil muffins while you still can. Come see me and the rest of the Doomer pornographers over at medium.com. My guys.